I was very honored this past December to be appointed chair of the Assembly Health Committee by Speaker Tony Atkins. I served on the Health Committee for two years, and it was during that two years that we were in the midst of a very dynamic and transformative time in California health care policy with the implementation of the Affordable Care Act. And with the implementation of the ACA, our state can truly say that we are making a difference for all Californians. We enacted a policy that enhances the everyday lives and outcomes for those most in need. And with the ACA's significant expansion to provide health care to more of our most vulnerable Californians and the increased awareness of, of many of the importance of health coverage, Medi-Cal enrollment has skyrocketed. We've seen the data. It's now almost about 12 million people on Medi-Cal, nearly one in three Californians. And this ex expansion, however, has exacerbated and drawn more attention to what has been an ongoing problem. Many years of reduced reimbursement rates and underfunding have resulted in a severe shortage of doctors to serve the needs of this growing population. California's Medi-Cal California's Medi-Cal reimbursement rates, as we know, are among the lowest in the nation. And there's a statement in politics that as California goes, so goes the rest of the nation. And I'm proud that that's true in, in many areas of policy. I'm very disappointed um, that that's not true in this area. And in fact, the opposite is true. So we need to change that and be the leaders that we have been for this country for so long. A recent report by the California Healthcare Foundation found that California's primary care rates were ranked 48th amongst state Medicaid programs. For all Medi-Cal services, California's rates ranked 47th amongst all state Medicaid programs. Only 57% of physicians in California accept new Medicaid patients, the second lowest rate in the nation. This severe underfunding significantly diminishes the state's capacity to ensure high quality health care without timely access to a primary care physician. Care, as we all know, too often takes place in the emergency department. Increasing Medi-Cal rates also reduces the significant cost shift that occurs as private insurance must pay more to cover the cost of the underfunding of the Medi-Cal program. Although we are all thankful that the Affordable Care Act expands Medi-Cal eligibility, coverage without real access means that millions of Californians are walking around with insurance cards that carry no or little weight. Senator and I, Senator Hernandez and I want to ensure that obtaining an insurance card is not an empty promise and means real access to authentic quality health care. That's why we've introduced AB 366 and SB 243 to bolster provider participation in the Medi-Cal program, resulting in the reduction of unnecessary costs to the state while ensuring access to high quality health care for Californians, children, and adults. That insurance card should ensure access, and we are committed to the proposition that everyone who has taken the time to enroll will be rewarded with real access to health care. As some of you may know, when I was a young boy, my family immigrated from the Philippines. We came to America seeking new opportunities and a, and a better life. My parents were farm worker organizers with the United Farm Workers of America, and we lived in a special place called La Paz, which was the headquarters for the UFW movement, which I believe was one of the greatest social justice movements in the history of our country. And as I was growing up, my father set up health care clinics for farm workers and later for other vulnerable communities throughout the state. And I witnessed firsthand growing up the importance of protecting and providing critical services to the most vulnerable members of our community. I believe that everyone has a right to health care coverage. I believe that health care is not a privilege for the few, but it is a right for all. And just as the Affordable Care Act was a remarkable first step towards providing everyone in the United States health care coverage, AB 366 and SB 243 are critical steps toward ensuring that coverage is meaningful and actually ensures true access to quality health care. Mm -hmm.